Happy Cinco de Mayo. Here we go. It's helping. Y'all is zit to be zapped. <laughs> you would not believe what I've been through. <laughs> I think freedom in Mexico. <laughs> Alright you guys, so this is the deal, walking tacos. Alright. This is what you do. You take a bag of either Doritos or Fritos, and no then man. you put your toppings on it, and you eat it right out of the bag. Um, tonight we're serving it with watermelon. I would choose Fritos, and then I would put meat, lettuce, cheese, and sour cream. Oh wait, 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 we're missing and one tomatoes. thing. Hold on, hold so, on. And salsa? The most important part. Oh. Sour cream? Oh, guac. Guacamole. Yeah, I didn't put sour cream out today, Katie. Why? That's like... I know. I do, I do too. I have I have sour cream on mine. It's like... That's like a bland mark. Yeah. Uh-oh. This isn't going to fit. All right. So this is the deal. So these are all this, the toppings. So we'll, we'll watch everybody make their guac and top and they talk about what they put out. We do have, I think, a little bit of sour cream I can get out. So I'm very excited about it. It's Cinco de Mayo. We're celebrating, um, I think, freedom in Mexico. <laughs> Whatever it is we're celebrating. Or, or the 5th of May. Yes. Or the 5th of May. And the 4th of July is when someone invented the hot dog. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. So join with us and you guys, um, we hope that one day if you don't already make walking tacos, they're called two different things. They're called walking tacos or tacos in a bag. And um, whoever is the D2 tonight that's supposed to do the dishes is getting off easy because all you have to do is throw away these bags. Right. Let's Recycle check. these bags. And uh, we're good to go. Tuesday? D2. Is what? Tuesday. Tuesday is... Brennan. Brennan. Lucky Brennan. No, he's D... Oh, D2. Yeah. D3. How about that? Hey, right, guys. It's time for dinner. Here we go. Alright, so, right, so you open the bag first and then you mush them. You can't no, mush them oh, all the bag. Mush them first. You can't because there's air in it. I, I Did it work? Them. No, you're really? only, you're supposed, to, you're you only really supposed mush. to mush them as much as the air in the bag allows you to. Because if it's too small and crumbly, it's not as good. Well, I, I was too hungry, yeah, so I just kind of smushed it. She's never had to power up before her uh, relay race. <laughs> That's a good point. That is a good point. All right. All right, got a little meat that goes next. For me, the cheese goes next because the meat is always hot and okay. you put the cheese on it and it oh. melts the cheese. Exactly. Right. You don't cheese. put the cheese on top of the lettuce because that makes no sense. Yeah, exactly. You go cheese but and then lettuce. Wow. Whoa, whoa. Normally these are made for us at the, um, yeah. you, when you go to the swim meets and you order and you tell them what you want to put in. Yeah. Oh, cheese. No, I'm one hungry boy. Brennan, okay. that's looking yeah. good. You want to see it? Wait. Oh, love her. Okay. Alright, <laughs> right, you guys, that's what mine looks like before I mix it up. Ryan, did you mix yours yet? I'm mixing mine. Let me see. There's not much to see, but they're very good. Alright, you guys, bon appetit. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> what do you say in, Mex in Spanish? Viva la Mexico. Viva la Mexico. No, I think it's. Oh, no, that's Ma not. That's Enjoy not your meal. Like what do they say? Viva la Mexico means the long way to Mexico, which is. Uh, Viva Mexico is French. Is oh, no, it's not. <laughs> Alright, you guys, enjoy your meal. All right, well, we're doing our dinner cleaning duties. <laughs> Brad, Brady, how do you think the um, cleaning the Donnelly duties have been going? I think it's unfair because every night we eat, I somehow get the dishes. <laughs> I know. It does seem a little bit weird. You are the most responsible of anybody in doing your cleanup duties. And it, goes, it does not go unnoticed or unnoticed. Thanks, dog. Dog? You're welcome, kitty cat. So you guys, if you've been watching for a bit, you know that Mike, we've been doing movie night. We've been trying to watch movies, oh, I don't know, maybe two or three times a week, right, Brennan? Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt you. And tonight's night, tonight's movie, as we mentioned earlier, is It's a Wonderful Life. 
So Kate is doing her laundry, trying to get everything ready. And eating an outshine bar. How good is that? Do I just look like an actual queen right now? You look like a queen eating an outshine bar. <laughs> if, do you see this, this stuff that looks like toothpaste all over my face? Because that's just my pimple stuff. Just oh, me, yeah. Okay. So. You don't even have pimples, so we'll start there. No, really, I don't see. And there. And there. And there. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And for real. But this is the thing. It's really I good. I feel like they're not there now, but they'll grow back. Oh, okay. All right. So I Excellent. gotta keep. I gotta keep. Keep your medicine on there. Exterminating them. <laughs> exterminating your pimples. I mean, like, yes. <laughs> I get it. If you, that 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 literally goes. Right. I like, guess that's that what definition it works with. You're like a like a uh, what do you an exterminator like a bug zapper like a <laughs> right. <laughs> Well, the good news is this. I do think that... Like Bugs, Bob's Bugs Be Gone. Yeah, oh my gosh. Okay, my favorite Zelda song ever. Zits Be Zapped. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just make that up? Yeah. That was really good. Thanks. Zelda Zits Be Zapped. All right, if you guys can comment below, please, on what show... Pepper's Pimples Be Bopped. What show... That's very good. What show Bob's Bugs Be Gone is from. It is perhaps one of my most favorite shows in the whole world. Bellamy's blemishes be banished. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I'm literally an expert. You're really good at that, Kate. I know. Holy cannoli. Mm. All right, so do you think that when it's time for us to... Whoa, oh, I'm so sorry. Thank you. When it's time for us to go home, do you think you'll have the same kind of schedule and be as attentive to your health as you are down here? No. Why is that? Something about being down here just makes me want to be healthy. We've talked about it a lot. I would lot. stay here, though. I know. I really like it here. I love but home. Brennan's going to be a crybaby. Well, he's got tons of friends. He's going to be a senior in high school. He has FOMO. Who knows he, he does know. have I'm FOMO? I'm talking about moving here. I'm talking about going home now. Oh, I know. He does have FOMO. Do you guys know what FOMO is? Here, I'm missing out. Okay. This conversation <laughs> totally took a left turn. That's All right, <laughs> bye. <laughs> okay, we're out. If you're, if you're like an ice cream company, right? Ice cream what? If you're an ice cream company, why do you make it impossible to open the lid? Oh. <sighs> Maybe they want you to burn it off first. Daddy, well, that's weird. Yeah. Has Brennan like, got Once you're strong enough to open the lid, <laughs> then you can smash it. Don't work out. We'll come back and finish. There's a little separated party. Oh, oh, says, oh, oh, oh. Oh. Let's go. Oh, but wait. He's already been in there. What? He's already been in there. He's already opened it up. All right, so everybody's getting their movie food ready. Ryan's getting ice yeah. cream. Katie has popcorn. It's healthy. <laughs> Perfect. I, on the other hand, I'm not doing any food because I'm super full after my walking tacos. But this is what I am going to do. So, It's a Wonderful Life is a movie that Dad and that Mike and I always watch at Christmas time because it's always on TV at Christmas time. But Mike doesn't think it's a Christmas movie because we keep saying, well, we're not going to watch it. It's a Christmas movie. Why should we watch it now? Because... I mean, it's a good movie, but it's long, and the kids are kind of not looking forward to it. So I thought I might come out into Nana's Christmas decorations and just tease Mike. I might put up a couple, de couple Christmas decorations just so he... Here we go. <laughs> this is good. Hold on a second. Okay, what's happening over here? You know, I know, I know some people are going crazy around <laughs> these times, but dry your tortillas. Mike, what's with the tortillas? Are they dry? You can put it back in their, in their place. Oh, what, do you, what do you mean, are they dry? What happened? Yeah, were they ever wet? <laughs> uh, we, we did? Oh, You're drying them <laughs> on the Tostitos, the popcorn, <laughs> the bread, and the cereal? It's like it's our own little hacienda. Mm -hmm. And also, my, Mike's making it. Every time I see uh, tortillas like that, I think of uh, Mr. Potato Head and how they're planned uh, in Toy Story 3. What are they doing? He goes, um... Where he puts himself into the tortilla. Oh, I don't remember that part. No. No. And then he comes out as the people. Well, he goes, oh, you would not believe what I've been through. <laughs> okay, I do remember that I statement. Exactly, when he's the tortilla. Um, I like it when Buzz Lightyear in Toy Story 1, um, they turn his um, Spanish... Yeah, on and he comes out and dances. I think that's very funny. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys. So I was able to successfully get some Christmas decorations. 
All right, I just thought it appropriate. Because we're watching a Christmas movie. Here's our. Oh, come on! Go. It's not a Christmas movie. <laughs> Here we go. There. That, does, that feel, does that feel a little better? It feels better. Here we go. All right, let's play it. I can't play it. Oh. Mrs. Claus is over the sensor. We do get these wings. That's right. That's right. Did you cry? No. Did you cry? No. Did you cheer up for me? It's a great movie. What did you say? It, it's like, it's, it makes you smile. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. Clarence's quote? Yeah, when you read it? I'm Clarence. I don't like that. Yay! Yay! That was the goat, no? All time movies. Not the greatest of all time, but one of the greatest. One of the greatest movies of all time. All right, Mike, you win. All right. All right, rate the movie, Ryan. Gil, what it's it was a great movie. I've seen, I think I've seen the ending, but the whole thing through, it was great. With my expectations going into it, it highly succeeded them. 9.5. Exceeded. Uh, exceeded. 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 9.5? Um, yeah. And I'm not a very harsh movie writer, but it was still it was a very really good movie. Fantastic. How about you, Mike? I'm going to give it a 750. <laughs> okay. How about That's you, Brennan? 975. Oh, yeah. Not a hard movie writer. Yeah. <laughs> It was really. How do you compare that to the sound of music? It's right sound there. of music has nothing on. <gasps> really? On its one. Are you serious? Yeah, nothing. I I like the I mean, you rate the roller coaster of emotions that It's a Wonderful Life puts you through, and the character development of George Bailey. Yeah. It's just a film. Ahead and the of its story. Time. Yeah, it's a film ahead of its time. Oh. Yeah, but I mean. It's so hard to get those songs out of your head if it's a wonderful life. I mean, it's not a musical. I, I mean, it's not a musical. I'm not saying <laughs> um, it's a wonderful life. It's not a musical. No, it's not a musical. But um, both of them are great movies. Dead's two for two, I think. Yeah. Um, uh, we watched The Hunger Games a couple of nights ago, and I'm dying to watch the second one. Which is a good movie. It doesn't hold a candle to it. It's a Wonderful Life. Yeah. I mean, it's just. Well, I mean, it's not I, a classic. I mean, like, no, it's, yeah. it's still a good movie. Yeah. All right, Katie. What would you rate It's a Wonderful Life on a scale of 1 to 10? Probably like a 9 <laughs> plus year and a half. 9 and a half? It's just really long. Yeah. So, I'm going to live it over two hours. It's yeah, but it, it, but it didn't like it didn't lose me at any point, you know? Right. It was I still never, intriguing. Exactly. I don't like the part, well, I don't want to give it away, but I don't like the part where um, Uncle Billy loses the money. It kind of makes me uncomfortable. It's sad. It is sad. A little bit sad, but um. I don't like the part when he kicks everything and they look at him like. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uncomfortable. Well, well but it's that tension, Brennan. Well, it's the tension. Punched in the face. Yes. Because all he ever did was good things. He just got punched in the face, which is unfair. That's right. Anyway. All right. It's a wonderful life. It's definitely a classic. It's definitely an annual movie, just like Sound of Music. I am also going to give, like Brennan said, a nine seven five. I'm going with the 975 mm -hmm. and it's wonderful. It is really hard to compare to Sound of Music, which I also give a 975. Yeah, th that's that's your that's your movie right there. Yeah. Along with but Mary, Mary Poppins? Poppins? 10. Because um Maria, Fraulein Maria, is a lot like Mary Poppins. Yeah. Well, wait, wait they're probably about the same actor. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I, I was actor. like, you know, something, you know, <laughs> other than the singing is really, you know. It's familiar. Yeah. Really huh. the same kind yeah. of. Yes, it's not. Um, yeah, Julianne it is. Um, She's the bomb. All right, you guys, should we share what made us happy today? It is time to go to bed. Sure. Um, I'm so tired. You are? You want to start then? Yeah. Okay, what made you happy, Vicky? I'm happy that we're getting our school done. Wow, you don't oh, seem very happy about that. <laughs> I'm just tired. But I'm just tired. We had a good time at the pool, yeah, just relaxing too, right? Oh, That's yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go see. Okay, good night, Katie. Oh. What made you happy today? Uh, what made me happy today is you guys watching the movie. It made me happy. Mm -hmm. Good job, you guys. Thanks for uh, coming along. And I'm happy to watch your movies now. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah. You have to watch Hunger Games all over again. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, great. Bro, what made you happy? What made me happy today was. Yeah. Hey. Is my charger still coming? You gotta give me time to think, dog. Well, I, I, that yeah. wasn't enough. You gotta like, tell me that, that you're gonna ask me before and then you just. It just feels like every day you might get asked.
Right. Yeah, it's kind of a daily I thing. I got a lot of stuff done today, and it was an insane day. Yeah, what we have today was um, at the end, uh, Mr. Uh, Bailey got get his eight thousand uh, dollars, more than that actually. Anyway, um, <laughs> watching the movie and getting a lot of schoolwork done. So yeah, compliment you guys have today. We'll see you tomorrow. What? You didn't even ask me. Oh. Yes, you did. Oh. I, I said. I didn't show what made me happy. Oh, because we I were talking. I read the movie. Oh, you were reading the movie. Maybe you don't care. No, I, I no care. Cares, Ryan. No, Do I you care. Yes, I care. Of course you care. Also, um, who do you think would play you in the movie of real life? I'm saying Julie Andrews. Oh, I would love it. I have a voice like Julie Andrews. Or yes. <laughs> uh huh. Actually, um, I've always thought about Reese, but Reese Witherspoon playing me. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who plays me? I don't know. Huh. Just can't go with a bow and you're kind of severed. Amy Schumer. <laughs> yeah, Amy Schumer. She's funny. Oh, oh, uh, no. You know who you would be? Kristen Bell. Oh, you think I would? Yeah. Or Amy um, Duncan. Amy Duncan. Mm -hmm. uh, who would play you? Uh, Leon Baker. Um, who would play you? Huh? Zach Efron. Who's this favorite that everybody says Brendan looks like? The guy? Shawn Mendes. Yeah, Shawn Mendes would play No, him. I'd play. Um, Shawn Mendes doesn't act like Ryan. Oh. Um, I, I think. Uh, you know, I'd be, it's it's not a real person, a fictional character, though. I'd be Dash. <laughs> yes, Dash. I mean, kill him. Right? Um, so you'd be Dash from The Incredibles. Exactly. So, you're going to tell some of you happy or not? Yes, I am going to show <laughs> my baby. There's Katie oh. Elizabeth. She just oh. wants a hug. What made me happy today? I have two things, uh, a lot of things made me happy, of course, but two specific mm -hmm. that I'm thinking of is making the walking tacos and seeing how happy you guys oh, were yeah. about the walking tacos. That is what made me happy. I love making you guys happy. That makes me happy. Mm -hmm. And the second thing that made me happy today was, again, a lot, but it was nice um, spending time. I spent a little time at the pool reading my book. Mm -hmm. That was nice. I, I enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. That was good. That's great. Yeah. And watching this movie, actually, I really yeah. like, uh, I don't want to say actually, but I love doing things with the whole family. Come below me, you guys have it today, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.